views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the views of BronxNet or the program underwriters. and welcome to another episode of Meetings of the Minds in partnership with BronxNet Television. You already know, we had to create these segments to make sure that our members and affiliates are connected and understand the resources that are out there to share with one another. Today is very special uh, to me, simply because as the Director of Operations of the New York City Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, my team and I wholeheartedly believe in the next generation of Hispanic leaders. And a lot of those leaders are currently in college. So it is my pleasure to bring to you Ms. Idelsa Mendez. She is the Development Manager for the Division of Institutional Advancement at Hostos Community College. Idelsa was also a 2019 Women in Business recipient. That's right, the New York City Hispanic Chamber of Commerce gave her a leadership award in 2019, way before COVID. You know, Hostos is also a member of the New York City Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, and it was always important for us to give a scholarship award to a Hostos student during the Business Banquet and Scholarship Award reception that we host every single year. Idelsa, how are you? And how is your familia, amiga? Hi, um, thank you, Sulma. Thank you for inviting me. Um, the family is good, you know. Everybody's a little bit um, overweight. <laughs> uh, but we're doing great, we're healthy. Um, and thank you for your support. Uh, I know the chamber has been a longtime partner of Hostos Community College, and we appreciate your support. Of course, you know, when you have uh, institutions like yourself who believes in the student or the community, it's just, you know, it's a win-win. It's easy to support uh, incredible hearts like yours. You know, Idelsa, uh, let's dive into this real quick. You know, COVID, COVID has not been easy for anyone. But you, Idelsa, when you came home, when everyone ha had to go home and quarantine, you were not just focused on your family. You had to focus on hundreds of families, the families of the Hostos community. You know, what was your first priority when it came to that? Again, like I mentioned in other um, interviews, we were shocked. We thought that it was going to be something that it was going to last a week. Okay, we want to close for a week or maybe two weeks. And then we moved from um, distance learning, uh, remote, working remotely, and it was like a nightmare, you know? I felt like everything was falling apart. Um, we, we had, we, you know, we had so many plans for 2020, um, and it was a little bit sad um, and also uh, scary, but, you know, at the same time, we were like, we got to do something, and, and one of the priorities that, you know, we were in the planning our gala, um, but we also have our students, they, we have a special population. Our students, they have a lot of needs. And one of the needs that our students are maybe they have is also um, food insecurity. Um, so that's why when I was like, okay, so we got it. The only thing that remains open in the college were the food pantry. And it's because of, because of the, the needs that our students have. So one of my, you know, concern is like, we need to make sure that we have enough food that we don't that we don't have to turn people away or we don't have to turn people we're going to give you this amount because we have so that was my main um i don't know in my maybe because i'm a mother but i was like people need to eat um so that was basically uh, the main priority also we we started our a kobe um, appeal to help the students you know a lot of our students lost their jobs um as you know um, Seventy percent of our students they come from a media income of thirty thousand dollars or less a year, so the needs is there, and um, we we're just doing our best to help support our students. 
Ibeza, you know that we have been following you on social media and the works. I've seen the work that you do. I see how invested you are in, in the students, especially when it comes to fundraising and making sure that they have no financial needs when it comes to their education. But this time, it posed a different challenge. The challenge was, how do we balance both? How do we meet their financial needs when it comes to education and also feed? them right so let's talk about the feeding part i saw that you partner with the world central kitchen the my haven bar and girl and you were literally feeding the families how did that happen um so the the partnership started on, a, on, a, um, on an assistant partnership that my haven uh, already had with the world central kitchen and the bronze leaf effort um so because i have a relationship with the my haven um and with rosa one day we, we decided that there was so many uh, restaurants offering food for essential workers. So we were like, what about students, you know, especially our students in the Bronx that they had, um, students that are living in homeless shelter that even though we have a food pantry, but a lot of the students, they don't have the, they don't have the resources to prepare a cooked meal um, on, a, on, a, on a homeless shelter. So that's why we decided to, open the program for also um, the students and also um, for CUNY, I mean, Lehman and BCC. So at the beginning, it was only for, for the three community colleges in the Bronx. And then, but pretty much for every, like we have students from all the community colleges that they were coming, they were like, oh, but I live in the Bronx. So, um, and two weeks ago, we opened the, the we extended the program to all CUNY students. So right now, and to so further notice, the, the restaurant is offering food for um, all CUNY students Thursdays and Friday. You know, we have to, I have to shout out all of my emprendedoras, right? I'm so proud to know you and to see that it really started with, with you taking the initiative and making sure you utilized all of these resources effectively, which speaks volumes of your heart, Ibeza. And, and for that, I commend you, and I'm so grateful uh, to know you even more. So let's um, really go to the other side of things, even though I love food and I want to talk a, a little bit more <laughs> about that. But can I also add, just really quickly, that World Central Kitchen also features renowned chefs, correct? Yes. Um, so through the partnership with the Bronze Relief Effort, um, we were able to bring Chef Kwame. He's a very famous chef from Washington, D.C., um, but he was also born in the Bronx. And he, you know, he, it, was, it was a beautiful experience. Um, not only he was providing food for the students, but also um, it was a kind of um, holistic um, interaction because, you know, um, a lot of the students, they used to come just to meet the chef. And, and it was beautiful, you know, like to, especially for our students to see somebody that looks like them, uh, being a successful chef on their own restaurants in Washington, Washington DC. So that was also a beautiful component of the meal distribution program. It was a, it was a beautiful component, unexpected. <laughs> so they not only got fed, you know, in their tummies by renowned chefs and super delicious food, but they got inspiration, which is something very beautiful. Exactly. To me, that's also important. Yeah, you don't get a lot of that from no. basic serving the community, you know, and feeding the community type of service. So I feel like that differentiates. And congratulations to the fact that this has now expanded to move to, across CUNY. Right. So let's touch on something else uh, that's a little challenging for sure. Right. Schools are going to operate very different, but that does not take away from the financial challenges that these students are still encountering. Right. You would always create these amazing fundraiser events again to make sure that hostels is able to provide for the students. Uh, how can our members help you support the students and what are your upcoming initiatives um so right now we you know the, the institutional advancement um the division we always um have it different appeals um but right now one of the events that um that we were no that we are planning is our annual um go fighting event um, it was it was one of the most successful, well attended event, and because of COVID, we have to um, 
can't not cancel because we're going to have it but it's going to be a virtual event so even though we're not going to be able to meet in person we're still going to have a beautiful event and we hope to come with the support of all our partners and sponsor especially now um you know the need is there and even though the resources are decreasing the needs are increasing so this is the time that we are asking all the donors the partner um to support um hostels and um you can do that by visiting our website it's the uh, hostels.cuny.edu and you can click um give to hostels or you can also um if you want to support the golf fighting i mean the golf classes you can also uh, find information about the golf class. You can also email me um, uh, at Mendes at uh, hostels.cuny.edu. I love um, to meet new people. It's all about uh, relationship and how we can collaborate um, and help and support each other to support our students. Thank you so much, Idelsa, uh, for being with us today. Is, is there anything that, I guess, a key takeaway from all of this experience uh, that you can share with us? Um, so what I learned about this whole, you know, pandemic is the importance of having good relationship. Um, and I feel like I'm so grateful for the relationship that I have with, with my mujeres, you know. Um, you, uh, my friend um, Janet from the Bronze Terminal Market, um, Rosa from My Haven Bar and Grill, Paola from the, the um, Catholic Charity, all this, the support that I receive, every time they identify anything that, that I know our students can benefit, you know, they always call me. So this is, a, this is the only thing, I'm very grateful, you know, it's a very sad time, but at the same time, it was a time that we learned um, the, how beautiful it is to have a sisterhood and be able to support each other. Of course, man, we have to be there for each other. And let me tell you, it's so nice that I know so many of the names that you mentioned, especially through and the then, <laughs> Much more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sure of it. And we'll be more than happy to bring them all to meetings of the mind so that we can hear what it is that they're doing and how they're changing so many lives in their respective fields, but more importantly, how they are all collaborating to make sure we are working as one towards a common goal. Idelsa, I appreciate you. We are so proud of you. you. We are rooting for you. And you know, the chamber, we're your familia. All right? Thank so you so much.